Well, now on your feet at five, right here in the Buckeye State, Ohio's redistricting commission is on a tight deadline tonight. It has until tomorrow to tell the Ohio Supreme Court why it shouldn't be held in contempt of court for not meeting a deadline to fix the state's congressional redistricting maps. Manny Abraham has details on the fight and what's next. As time passes, there is uncertainty as to when we will see new district maps. Back in 2015, Ohio voters voted on new rules to draw updated legislative maps that do not unfairly benefit one party. That's where we are now as new maps are drawn out. But last week, the Ohio Redistricting Commission failed to meet a court set deadline when it didn't submit new legislative maps. That's after the Ohio Supreme Court rejected proposed maps twice already for being gerrymandered in favor of Republicans. Today, the state's redistricting commission held a brief meeting to talk about plans to move forward. We have an obligation to follow the Constitution. We have an obligation to follow the court orders, the two court orders. And finally, we have an obligation to produce a map. Lawmakers have also failed to come up with new congressional maps, but are promising to get to that soon. Meetings are planned again tomorrow and Thursday. Political experts say the uncertainty surrounding the new redistricting maps puts the May 3rd primary in jeopardy, as candidates won't be sure as to which voters will be in their districts. And there's another element to this. Governor Mike DeWine is on the Ohio Redistricting Commission, and his son is on the Ohio Supreme Court. So some have pointed to a potential conflict of interest ahead of the commission's response on why it shouldn't be held in contempt of court for failing to meet that deadline last week. Betsy. Well, I have a feeling that'll be scrutinized very closely. Certainly something to keep an eye on. All right, Manny Abraham reporting live for us tonight. Thanks.